imagine you're about to spend ten to twenty thousand dollars to have a deck built does it really matter which type of screw they use well let's find out in the first test we'll see which screw is easiest to install then we'll see which screw is the strongest we'll see which brand has the best holding strength then we'll see which screw is the most resistant to corrosion at a price of eight dollars for a pound or 14 cents per screw the least expensive brand we'll be testing is made by deckmate all the brands we'll be testing are three and a half inches in length and most are 10 gauge low torque design drives faster than standard screws we're going to test that 40 percent more screws per battery charge designed for use with all treated lumber coating outlasts other fasteners we're going to test that the Deckmate screws are made in Taiwan. The Deckmate comes with a T25 Torx bit. The Torx bit offers a pretty loose fit. A close look under the microscope and the coating on the Deckmate appears to be very thin or even worn off in some areas. The Deckmate weighs 8.78 grams. Since several of the brands claim to be easier to drive than the competition, let's drive in three screws to see which requires the least amount of torque. The inline torque adapter will keep track of the maximum torque. And the first Deckmate screw went into the pressure treated 4x4 without requiring too much torque at 14 inch pounds. And the second screw performed nearly the same as the first at 15 inch pounds or 1 inch pound more than the first. And the third deck mate screw performed nearly the same as the first two, 16 inch pounds. So 15 inch pounds on average. I went ahead and removed all three screws, so let's take a closer look at them to see how the coating held up. And the coating experienced quite a bit of damage. It appears that there's now exposed metal on the threads and shaft of the screw. We'll expose the screws to a rusting agent later in the video to see if any rust forms on the exposed metal. Pressure treated 4x4s are pretty soft, so let's use a new screw and see how the coating holds up after being driven through a 1 inch piece of oak and into a 4x4. And there's quite a bit of damage to the coating on the deck mate with bare metal exposure on the threads in the shaft. At a price of $11 per pound or 14 cents per screw is this Wood Pro brand. Most of the screws we'll be testing are number 10, but the Wood Pro is number 9. It has a sharp type 17 point which allows for easy starting and effortless drilling. Special nibs under the head provide a clean countersink in all types of material. Screws are coated by PPG Industries with a golden electro poly seal coating. They claim the coating will not chip or rub off. A close look at the screw and it appears that there are some chips on the coating of the threaded portion of the screw. Designed for treated lumber. Very nice fit between the Torx bit and the screw. The Wood Pro brand is made in Taiwan. The Wood Pro is very light at only 6.29 grams. The Wood Pro is a number 9 screw and it took less torque than the Deckmate at 13 inch pounds. The second screw was the same as the first at 13 inch pounds. The third screw was the same as the first two at 13 inch pounds, so very consistent results from the Wood Pro. The Wood Pro's coating seems to have held up better than the Deckmate, but there's metal showing in several areas. Drilling through the oak really caused a lot of damage to the coating on the Wood Pro, but it does seem to have held up slightly better than the Deckmate. At a price of $10 per pound or 17 cents per screw is this Deck Drive brand. Quick guard coating with a corrosion resistance rating of medium. Low torque threads allow up to 35% more screws to be driven on a battery charge. High low tip provides fast starts. Ribbed head design countersinks easily and provides a clean finished appearance. Optimized threads for dimensional lumber. The coating on the deck drive screw is in the best condition yet with no visible chipping. Made in Taiwan with global materials. The deck drive is the second heaviest yet at 7.07 grams. 16 inch pounds to drive the first screw. The second screw was nearly the same as the first at 15 inch pounds. 16 inch pounds on the third screw, so 15.7 pounds on average. The deck drive seems to perform about the same as the Wood Pro with metal exposure to the threads. And the yoke really caused a lot of wear and tear to the coating on the deck drive screw. At a price of $15 for 75 screws or 20 cents each is this Fasten Master Guard Dog brand. Instead of using a Torx bit, the Guard Dog uses a Posi Square drive. The kit includes a Posi Square driver bit. The Guard Dog coating has been tested and approved for pressure treated lumber. It claims to be faster, easier, and stronger. Aggressive thread design increases holding power. We're going to test that. A close look at the screw and there appears to be some chips to the coating on the screw. The Fasten Master Guard Dog is made in Taiwan. 8.16 grams for the guard dog, 16 inch pounds to dry the first screw, and the second screw is also right at 16 inch pounds. 18 inch pounds on the third screw for an average of 16.7, the most yet of all the brands. And the coating on the guard dog seems to have held up about the same as the deck drive. The guard dog seems to have held up fairly well against the oak, but we'll know more when we expose the threads to salt and acid later in the video. At a price of $12 for 59 screws or 20 cents each is this PowerPro brand which is sold at Lowe's. Engineered for the outdoors. Bronze epoxy coating offers superior rust and corrosion protection. Self-starting tip offers 20% faster engagement into wood and no splitting. The PowerPro brand does come with a driver bit and I've tested it on several different screws. It just doesn't offer a very good fit. The coating on the PowerPro appears to be in very good condition with no visible chipping. The PowerPro brand is made in Taiwan. The Power Pro weighs 7.61 grams. And the Power Pro only needed 14 inch pounds on the first drive. 14 inch pounds once again on the second screw. 16 inch pounds on the third screw for an average of 14.7. The coating on the Power Pro seems to have held up the best yet with very little metal exposure on the threads. The Power Pro also seems to have held up the best yet on the oak with very little metal exposure on the threads. 
At a price of $11 for 53 screws or 21 cents each is this GripRite brand which is sold at Lowe's and Home Depot. Improved corrosion resistance. Lifetime guarantee against rust and corrosion. Type 17 point reduces the need to pre-drill. Countersinking bugle head prevents heads from popping out and leaves smooth finish. The coating on the GripRite appears to be in really good condition with no visible chipping. The GripRite screws are made in Taiwan. The GripRite is heavier than average at 8.12 grams. 14 inch pounds to dry the first screw. And the second screw is quite a bit higher at 18 inch pounds. 19 inch pounds is the most yet of all the brands with an average of 17 inch pounds. And the coating on the GripRite has held up the best yet and looks nearly as good as new. The GripRite also held up really well after drilling through the oak. There is a small amount of metal exposure on the outer edges of the threads. At a price of $12 for 55 screws or 22 cents each is this Deck Plus brand. Self-drilling point design eliminates the need for a pilot hole. Flathead style sits flush with material. Four-layer coating provides superior rust and corrosion protection. Safe for treated lumber. Includes a lifetime warranty against rust and corrosion. The coating on the Deck Plus appears to be in really good condition with no visible chipping. The Deck Plus brand is made in Taiwan. The Deck Plus is the second heaviest yet at 8.23 grams. And the Deck Plus needed 16 inch pounds on the first screw. 20 inch pounds the most yet on the second screw. 14 inch pounds on the third screw for an average of 16.7 inch pounds. And there's quite a bit of metal showing on the threads of the Deck Plus screw. Unfortunately, the oak completely shredded the coating on the Deck Plus with lots of metal exposure. At a price of $15 for 59 screws or 25 cents each is this Spax brand. The Spax comes with a T20 driver bit. The Spax driver bit offers a very good fit with the screw. Patented four cut point prevents splitting and requires no pre-drilling in wood. The Spax coating offers superior corrosion resistance when installed in treated lumber. Heat treated to grade five durability and patented thread serrations that reduce drive torque and prolong power tool battery life. The Spax coating appears to be in really good condition with no visible chipping. The Spax brand is made in USA. The Spax weighs 7.89 grams. The Spax needed the most torque yet at 20 inch pounds. And the second screw also needed 20 inch pounds. 14 inch pounds in the third screw. So 18 inch pounds on average, the most yet of all the brands. The color of the Spax coating makes it very difficult to find the exposed metal areas, but the Spax seems to be in great shape. And the Spax held up really well drilling through the oak with very little metal exposure on the outer threads. At a price of $11 for 40 screws or 28 cents each is this Velocity brand. Shank slot eliminates splitting. It claims to be the fastest starting and fastest driving. We're gonna test that. Stable wobble-free high performance screws with low energy threat. Includes a hex sticks driver bit. Sharp piercing tip for instant grip. A close look at the screw and there appears to be some chips in the coating on a threaded portion of the screw. The Velocity brand is made in China. The Velocity weighs 8.07 grams. Only 12 inch pounds to dry the first screw, the least amount of torque yet. 13 inch pounds on the second screw. 11 inch pounds on the third screw for an average of 12 inch pounds. And the Velocity's coating didn't hold up quite as well as some of the other brands. And the oak caused a lot of damage to the coating on the Velocity with lots of metal exposure. At a price of $14 for 50 screws or 28 cents each is this GRK brand. The GRK is a multi-purpose framing screw. It's building code approved and has a shear load rating of 1,016 pounds of force. We're gonna test that. Self-tapping and counter-seeking head. W-cut thread design. The driver bit that comes with the screws provides a very good fit. The GRK screws are made in Taiwan. The coating on the GRK is in really good condition with no visible chipping. The GRK weighs 7.56 grams. 11 inch pounds to dry the first GRK screw. And it took 16 inch pounds to drive the second GRK. 14 inch pounds for the third screw for an average of 13.7 inch pounds. And the GRK held up better than average with a small amount of metal exposure on the outer threads. Even after drilling into the oak, the GRKs held up much better than most of the other brands. At a price of $31 for 100 screws or 31 cents each is this Eagle Claw brand. 305 stainless steel screws. Recommended for use in coastal, wet, and outdoor applications. Suitable for use in all hardwoods, softwoods, and pressure-treated lumber. No coatings, no corrosion, no hassle. The screws are made in Taiwan. The Eagle Claw is pretty light at 7.36 grams. The stainless steel Eagle Claws needed 16 inch pounds on the first screw, 19 inch pounds to drive the second screw, 17 inch pounds on the third screw for an average of 17.3 inch pounds. There's no coating to be damaged on the Eagle Claw. If you're looking for the screw that takes the least amount of torque to drive, the Velocity came in on top at 12 inch pounds. Wood Pro wasn't too far behind at 13, GRK 13.7, Power Pro 14.7, and Deckmate 15 inch pounds. Assessing the damage on the coating of the screw after installing and removing them from pressure treated 4x4s is highly subjective. The Eagle Claw is stainless steel and there's no damage to the screw. For the screws that do have coatings, the Grip Right and the Spax came out on top with very little visible damage with a rating of 1. The Power Pro and the GRK also performed very well with a rating of 2. 
After drilling through the oak, the Spax performed the best with very little damage to the outer coating. The grip right and the GRK also performed very well with a rating of 1.5. Let's take the screws that drilled through the oak and soak them in sulfuric acid for about an hour. Then we'll take them out, rinse them off, and spray them down with hydrogen peroxide, vinegar, and salt, which is a very powerful rusting agent, and then we'll see how much corrosion takes place. We'll check back on this later in the video. The thread pitch and the diameter has an impact on how quickly an impact driver can drive a screw, so let's test that next. And the impact driver began hammering away immediately as it drove in the first two deckmate screws in right at 1.51 seconds each. The third screw took 1.36 seconds for an average of 1.46 seconds for the deckmate. 0.88 seconds are 40% faster than the deckmate. And the deck drive went in very quickly at only 0.7 seconds for each of the three screws and takes the lead from the Wood Pro brand. You're definitely going to need some extra batteries if you've got a big job installing the guard dogs. They took nearly three times as long as the deck drive screws at 1.97 seconds on average. And it's back to the races with the Power Pro which moved into third place behind the Wood Pro averaging right at one second per screw. And the grip right screws aren't nearly as fast as the deck drive screws. 1.07 seconds is good enough to move in the fourth position. And the deck plus screws require more time to install than average at 1.53 seconds. And the SPAC screws are pretty fast to install at 1.09 seconds on average, but that's not nearly fast enough to move into the lead. And the velocity screws were slightly faster to install than the SPACs at 1.04 seconds on average. And the GRKs move into a tie with velocity at 1.04 seconds. And the stainless steel eagle claws were hammered into position at 1.23 seconds. If you're looking for the fastest screws to install, the deck drive is the fastest at 0.7 seconds, Wood Pro 0.88, Power Pro 1 second, and Velocity and GRK 1.04 seconds. I built the next tester to measure the sheer load it takes to break the screws. The tester is made of AR500, a very hard metal. The moving part of the tester will slide into the slot. The tester will cut the screw in two places, so the actual shear load is half of the total value. If two boards are attached with the screw, the brunt of the shear force will occur right at the threaded portion of the screw where the two boards meet. So we'll be testing the threaded portion of the screw. And the deckmate has a larger diameter than most of the screws and it took a lot of force to break the screw. 3,807 pounds or 1,903 pounds of shear strength. And the Wood Pro gave up at 2,549 pounds or about 1,250 pounds less than the deckmate. The deck drive performed better than the Wood Pro but not nearly as well as the deckmate at 2,816 pounds. And the guard dog moves into second place behind the deckmate at 3,099 pounds. And the Power Pro made it to 2,985 pounds. The grip right has a larger shaft diameter than most of the other screws and it moves into the lead at 4,052 pounds. Very impressive. And the Deck Plus performed nearly as well as the grip right at 3,903 pounds and moves into second place behind the grip right. And the Spax made it to 3,319 pounds before letting go. And the Velocity let go at 3,271 pounds to move into the fifth position behind Spax. And the GRK made it to 3,412 pounds. And the stainless steel eagle grips don't have as much shear strength as some of the other screws at 2,702 pounds. Let's test a 16 penny nail. And a 16 penny nail did better than some of the screws at 3,120 pounds. I definitely don't recommend using screws for structural projects unless they're building code approved since screws are more brittle and can break off from repeated back and forth movements. So the grip right came out on top at 2,026 pounds. Deck Plus performed very well at 1,952, Deckmate 1,904, GRK 1,706, and Spax 1,660 pounds. Let's test the holding strength of the screws next using a regular 2x4. I'll use a screw holder to make sure that all the screws are driven in straight. Once the screw is in place, I'll spray paint the wood and the screw black to make it easier to see when the screw begins moving. And it took 606 pounds to pull out the first Deckmate screw. And a second screw performed slightly better than the first at 628 pounds. And a third screw did the best yet at 660 pounds for an average of 631 pounds. Even though the Wood Pro is a number nine screw, it still performed very well on the first screw at 648 pounds. The second Wood Pro screw gave up a little sooner than the first at 614 pounds. 584 pounds on the third screw for an average of 615 pounds. The deck drive performed fairly well in the first screw at 610 pounds. The second screw was nearly the same as the first at 596 pounds. 548 pounds on the third screw for an average of 585 pounds to move into third place behind the Wood Pro. And the guard dog did the best yet at 678 pounds in the first screw. 
And the guard dog performed very well in the second screw at 624. 678 pounds in the third screw for an average of 660 pounds to move into the lead. And the Power Pro made it to 660 pounds in the first screw before giving up. And the Power Pro performed nearly the same on the second screw at 664 pounds. 622 pounds in the third screw for an average of 649 pounds to move into second place behind the guard dog. And the Grip Right brand did the best yet on the first screw at 724 pounds. Very impressive. And the Grip Right did nearly as well on the second screw at 704 pounds. 666 pounds in the third screw for by far the best average yet at 698 pounds to move into the lead. And the first deck plus screw performed well at 634 pounds. And the second screw performed even better at 664 pounds. 664 pounds once again for an average of 654 pounds to move into second place behind the grip right. The SPACs performed very well in the first screw at 684 pounds. It performed even better on the second screw at 698 pounds. And the SPACs hit 696 pounds on the third screw for an average of 693 pounds. And the Velocity gave up a lot faster than the competition at 452 pounds on the first screw. The Velocity gave up early on the second screw at 524 pounds. 596 pounds on the third screw for an average of 524 pounds. The GRK performed well on the first screw at 692 pounds. It was down just a little to 662 pounds on the second screw. 714 pounds on the third screw to move into third place behind the SPACs at 689 pounds on average. And the Eagle Claw performed very well on the first screw at 678 pounds. It performed nearly as well on the second screw at 652. 692 pounds on the third screw for an average of 674 pounds. So the grip right came in on top at 698 pounds, but the SPACs did nearly as well at 693. GRK finished third at 689, Eagle Claw 674, and Guard Dog 660 pounds. Getting screws started can sometimes be a challenge. So let's test that next using the drill press. The drill press has a wheel installed on the lever arms. With a small weight attached, it's very close to 2,000 grams or about four and a half pounds of downward force. With four and a half pounds of downward force, the deckmate screw wasn't able to start the screw after 10 seconds of trying. The drill press uses leverage. So adding a large nut adds 350 grams of additional downward force on the screw. Even with the extra 350 grams of downward force applied to the lever arms, the deckmate still couldn't get the screw started after 10 seconds of trying. And the deckmate was able to get the screw started with very close to six pounds of downward force. After testing all the brands, the GRK and the Eagle Claw came out on top and needed the least amount of downward pressure at 4.4 pounds. The SPACs also performed very well at 5.2 pounds. Most of the other brands needed 6 pounds of downward pressure to get the screw started. After one hour of exposure to sulfuric acid and several applications of rusting agent, the uncoated nail has quite a bit of corrosion. Just like the nail, the drywall screw has experienced quite a bit of corrosion. Even though the sulfuric acid destroyed the coating on the deck mate, there's no visible rust. The Wood Pro looks about the same as the deck mate with no visible rust. The acid ate away the coating on the deck drive, but there's no rust. The guard dog's coating is still on the screw, but it does scrape off pretty easily. However, there's no visible rust. The acid removed most of the coating on the Power Pro, but there's no visible rust. The coating on the Grip Right held up the best yet, and there's no visible corrosion. While drilling through the oak removed part of the coating on the Deck Plus, there's no visible corrosion. The Spax has a metallic coating, which makes it very hard to say for sure, but the coating appears to be in great shape. Unfortunately, the Velocity experienced quite a bit of corrosion compared to the other brands. And the coating on the GRK experienced quite a bit of damage, but there's no visible rust. The acid and the salt did cause some corrosion on the Eagle Claw screw. I went ahead and tested a second screw using just the rusting agent and it experienced very little corrosion. So which brand is best? I like the Grip Ride. It came in on top with an average finish of 2.4, but I also like the GRK and SPAX. The coatings of those brands were terrific and all three had a top five finish for sheer load. Not surprisingly, those three brands took longer to install, but the payoff is you get a screw that offers more holding strength. All the videos in this channel, including this one, are viewer suggested. So if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and I look forward to next time.